enough to find the area and perimeter of this figure okay so we first find out all the missing figures first okay find out all these signs then okay so step number one if you look at this okay this line here okay let's say from here to here this 12 okay add this will give me this side here okay correct because the add up give me that so what i do i just go 12 plus 8 okay so 12 plus 8 it will give me 20 right so i just do different colors so 20 so 20 centimeters first of all right now then this land here okay so this side here 15 correct at this is give me 25 so therefore to work out this land here so 25 minus 15 so 25 minus 15 okay and you will get if you work it out 25 minus 15 you should get 10 so you get 10 centimeters here. that's the first step right so work figure out first now let's say I'm gonna ask you find the um, perimeter right so the perimeter of this okay there are many ways to do it of course so all you need to do is this land here so this one and this one is same as this one here so which is 20 at 20 correct so we go 20 okay I'm just write it down first so 20 times 2 add okay so this land here this one here 10 plus 15 so it's the same as 25 add together correct so which is 25 so 25 so we got two lots of 25 so 25 times 2 see that's you get you the for um, the perimeter of these shapes so to get this you get 90 centimeters right that's one way of doing it Otherwise, you just go 25 plus 20 plus 10 plus 8 plus 15 plus 12, write it out, and you just you kind of work it out. It gives you the same answer. Okay, so this is just another way of doing find the perimeter. Now, to find the area, okay, so what we do, we got uh, three ways to do it. I'm just going to do one way, and then you can do other way if you like. Okay, so we just follow this. What I want to do, is the way to go about this okay you can cut this like this here. so you can find this area one this area and find this area two okay or okay or you can cut differently you can um, cut it like that I just swap this off first I can show you or I can cut this way just swap this first or you can cut like this see and you can name you can name this area one so this area two you find this area 1 by 20 times 10 and area 2 is 15 times 12 right so many way to do it so I'm just gonna do okay differently okay did I gonna do third one the third one of this is this I find the, the larger one see, look, I can do this way as well see I can draw the area of the largest one and I'm gonna minus this side here because this one is not included so I can do this as well so I go area is equal to 20 times okay the last one the last one here is tw 25 times 20 see give me the whole lot correct including um, the square outside so let's just go 20 times 25 then because I don't want this one here okay I don't want this one so I want to minus it so this here is 8 times 15 so minus that rectangle out so 8 times 15 so if you type that in your calculator okay you should have 38 I mean 380 centimeters square that's the area see very simple okay so you do you know how to do this first of all I analyze I work out what shape it is and then just work it out area a rectangle or square okay depend okay so that's how you do it remember let's do next one okay number two okay now first of all let's say find out the the, um, the perimeter of this okay so the perimeter of this shape p is equal to okay look at this yeah so if you think about it this side land here add this one 
and at this one here is exactly the same this land all the way from here to here there you go so what you do we go 23 times 2 that give me this see now this one here okay now if you think about it because this side here i use this in color this side here 8 so this also 8 as well correct so therefore all the way from here to here sorry um i just all the way from from here all the way down here okay is a plus 12 so which is 20 okay 20 centimeters so in another word okay this one here at this one here okay is 20 so which is same as this length at this length so therefore we add 20 times 2 that would cover everything can you see do i miss out anything no right so all i need to do is i just work like that and then i just you my calculator and you just type that in and you will get okay if you type that in so i just go 23 times 2 you just put exactly the same in your calculator okay you will get 86 so 86 centimeters okay so now to work out area of this now I, I look a bit messy but let's see what we can do area of this i'm going to do all together okay now this one here I cut into two pieces okay easier so what I do I cut that see look this one here let's say this area one so area one is see look this is a rectangle if you think about it see there you go you got this see this one is 12 times 6 correct so area one is 12 times 6 and okay I'll do together okay and this one here if you think about it see this one here See this one see so which is equal to okay 23 times 8 correct because it's length time width so 23 times 8 so this is got 23 times 8 then if you type this in your calculator okay so you you should get 256 centimeters square you see so that that's how you do it okay let's do one more okay i'm going to do three questions on this because it's 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 quite um it's quite time consuming and then um, and it complicates so i just do three and you know the process and then you work out from there all right so number three okay now the way to go about this i'm gonna find perimeter um five area first okay so i'm gonna find area of this so i the area of this you've got three way to do it okay i'm just want to show you and then you do it yourself okay i'm going to show you third way you can try the art the other um the, the other two okay so this way the first way is you can cut like this see you can cut into three strip so this is got a1 okay but a1 you need to figure out what this one is first okay so this is this is six all right and then this is 20 and this is eight to work out from here to here of course you go 20 take away 8 okay 20 take away this 8 and and take away 6 to give me that all right so i'm, I'm not going to do that you can try it yourself or find a1 okay i just write a1 see and then a2 now to work this out okay what you need to do of course i miss out this lens sorry about that so 16 otherwise you wouldn't be do it so now 16 all the way from here to here and then 6 so therefore this length here is must be 10 think about it okay this is 10 centimeters and then you can work out area 1 area 2 and then area 3 you see and if you do that and you can add them up then that's your answer okay so that's how you do it so this each of them so but i'm not going to do this i'm going to show you a diff different way as well and you can see all all, all different kind of um, a method just to do that questions okay so let's go i just want this off as well and i just fill this up with uh 16 centimeters first all right now let's go so you can also cut this way like that okay just your different color okay i just cut all the way from here to here and all the way so you could work out a1 see a2 and then a3 see and then you add them up still give you area correct now 
The third way I'm going to do is, that's what I'm going to do, is easier. So what I do, I work out the area of the whole lot, like this. Okay, I'm just going this one all the way, like this, see? Area of big rectangle, okay? Minus this, this one here, okay? So what I do, I go area of the largest one, which is 20 times 16, see? 20 times 16, that gives me area of the whole lot, and then I minus this one here. Because this 6 centimeters, this is also 6, this is also 6, okay? That's what that meant. So you minus 6 times 6, see? And then if you type that in your calculator, okay, you should get 284 centimeters square. You see? That's, that's how you find the area, okay? Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to find the perimeter. So I'm just, I'm just going to wipe some of them off first so, it's, so it's, you can see it clearly. All right, there you go. All right, now let's go. The perimeter of this shape, okay, is I'm just going to do the length of this one. Look, this length is 20. So therefore, this plus this length plus this length is also equal 20. Okay, so if you think about it, if you pull the middle line up, it's go like this. See? It's the same, one line. That's why I can do this method. So you go 20, okay, times 2. Now, I can do using this one as well. So this one here, this land here, all the way from here to here, which is 16, you add 16. So that means 2 lots of 16. So I just write it down. Plus 2 times 16. Add, okay, I still have this one here. So which is, which is this one here? Okay, 6. And this one 6, which is 12. Or I just go 6 times 2. As easy as that. So what I do, I type in calculator exactly the same. And you should get 84 centimeters. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm gonna draw okay, a question, um, draw a couple of questions for you. I'm going to give you two. And then see if you can do it yourself. Of course, I'm going to give you an answer as well. Okay. I want you to try it yourself. See if you can get the answer. All right. So let's go. Okay, now question number one. Okay, the shape this is. And the answer of this, okay, the answer of this for the perimeter is 56 centimeters. And the answer for this shape is, the area is, the answer for the, the area is 144 square centimeters, right? So see if you can work this out and then um, and see if you got the, got, got the answer correct. Okay, now look at this. Look. This one here, okay. This shape here. So I'm gonna find. I'm gonna ask you to find the perimeter and area as well. So the area is 544 um, square centimeters. All right. So see if we can get that. Um, I'm gonna give you a clue for this one, just a little bit, so you know how um, how to get some of the missing figures. So look, because of um, of this is eight, okay, and they give you these symbols. That means this side eight centimeters as well, okay. And because this is 8 from here to is 8, okay, to work out this length, of course, it's 20 minus 8, okay, so you figure out what it is, uh, depend how, how you go about this, okay, of course, you don't need, even need it if you do different method. So it's your choice, and then you can find out this length as well, of course, and then you do it whichever way you like, okay. Thank you so much for watching my video.